On the other hand, try to imagine the worst possible version of yourself facilitated by technology. Let me tell you a little bit about that person. That person doesn't ever make eye contact with anybody because they're too busy looking at their phone. That person cannot carry on a conversation uh, because they're too busy looking at their phone. Uh, that person cannot be trusted to operate a vehicle because they're too busy looking at their phone. Uh, that person um, does not remember anything or really know anything about the world because whenever they're faced with some sort of problem or question, they just look it up on their phone. Uh, that person is easily fooled and confused by any uh, rumor, innuendo, or anything about the world as long as it exists online. So as long as I can find a web page where somebody said that something happened, like we faked the moon landing, then I will believe it. As long as it's out there in cyberspace somewhere, and I can find it, and I can search it and bookmark it, then it must be true. So that's, that, that's the worst version of that. That person um, has a lot of what we refer to as weak tie relationships. So they have a lot of, you have a lot of friends on Facebook, maybe thousands of friends on Facebook, but not anyone who's like a friend in real life, um, someone who you might make yourself vulnerable with. Um, you are, you, ex you seem extremely happy on Facebook. Um, you take all sorts of pictures of yourself doing interesting, happy things. But you know, inside, you have a lot of deep questions about life that aren't being answered by the internet, aren't being answered by computers. You seek out the company of computers and you, the interaction with computers because it's highly satisfying. Because every time you click, the computer does what you want. And you start to avoid contact with people because people don't do that. People have their own ideas about what they're going to do. And you, know, you can't click them or uh, type a letter on them or whatever and just get them to do something. Right? They react in their own ways to make their own decisions. They're so complicated to deal with. It's so much easier to just retreat into the company of your own computer because your computer will always do exactly what you want. Um, so, you know, this is some of the, you know, the person that, you know, uh, do you want to be this person? Um, you know, you're very available on email, but hard to talk to in real life. You get all your information from the internet, but you haven't really synthesized much or come up with, you know, some of your own ideas about how to live. You appear very happy on the outside and you're very good at cultivating your image on social media. Uh, but there's some aspect of your human existence that is not translating into cyberspace. And unfortunately, because some of your human relationships are starting to disintegrate because of your use of the internet and computers, you're having a hard time you know, activating those parts of yourself. Um, and so, you know, fundamentally, it's not possible to live a full human life on the internet. And it probably won't ever be possible. Computers, the internet, these are tools that we can use to help us live our own lives better. They are not places where we can submerge our lives and completely realize all of our human potentials. Computers there to help us, the internet's there to help us, but the goals and the challenges are still ours to face and the interaction with people is still the thing that's going to bring meaning to our lives.